friends welcome to my channel crafts with isha so today we are going as children are getting bored at home doing nothing and their schools are also not opening so i have brought some simple crafts for you so today we are going to make this wall hanging and 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 the materials we need for it is this cardboard a cardboard or if you have this circle shape so i have already cut it out you can also cut it and craft sheet and i have i have uh, we need three kinds of four four colors of craft paper so i have taken these colors orange green purple and yellow and we need um, we need wool so i i have also some wool and we need some uh, stones or stickers or if you have these beads we need you can see approximately we need 6 to 7 beads and and these buttons we need approximately um we need approximately 4 to 5 buttons and the, uh, these are some stones and if you don't have these stones also it's fine you can use stickers this is extra and if you want you can use them there's no problem and there is this quilling paper and if you don't have quilling paper at home then you can cut out some strips out of white paper or any craft sheet we need a scissor we need five approximately five ribbons so there is i have five ribbons with me one yeah so i have four to five ribbons with me and that's all we need so let's start so um, first we have to cut out uh, this shape from the cardboard so if you don't have um, if you don't know how to cut then um, this is how we cut it so um, we have this bowl or you can take any other bowl at that you have available at your home and you have to trace it and inside that we need another bowl and you have to trace that also and i have already and you have to cut out so i have already cut it out so this is what you will get next you have this craft sheet so um there this is a thick craft sheet you can use the thin craft sheet also so i have cut i have traced this over here and on and i have got and i have cut it out so i have got this so after that we have to um, stick it so we need fabricol and and we put some fabricol on over here and after putting it we have just have to stick it so after sticking you will get this kind of frame and next what we have to do is we have to make the feathers it's like this so we have to make these so this um it's kind of this so we have to make this so there are small cuts which i'll tell you how to make so we have to trace um so we have to trace it over here i mean yeah so we have to trace three on it um, it on three colors so i have already traced this um, over here so it's kind of leaf so um, i hope you can see it now and we have to cut it out so we have to cut it like this and i think we are done with cutting so now we have to we have to make a small a kind of fold over here so um you can see these these kind of it's not equal so just cut how much after it's equal so we are done with cutting now it it will be like this so after that you have to make really small cuts over here like this and you don't have to take it till the middle line and you don't have to cut it completely it's really small cuts with um, st straight lines um and you have to make it both the sides so 
so we can you can see there are very minute cuts over here and i have made it with um, so you have to trace on each color two leaves so it will be like this so there are two each color so i have made a pattern so it, it is on your it you can choose any pattern you want so after we make this we have to stick them one by one from the uh, from the tip of it so i put some fabricol and and i stick this one and again i put fabricol on this and i stick the orange one so i think we are done with this so now what we have to do is we have to stick it on this so we have to stick it on over here so um, on the top or anywhere you want you can stick it so um, you have to take you have to take it this you have to take like this you have to flip it and you have to put glue on it again and you have to stick it over here so what like this and then you have to take these buttons so um, you have to put glue on the button and you have to put it over here and another button you have to take and again you have to put glue so over here we only need three buttons so you can put the second button and the last button it, the buttons could be of any color there is no specific color as your wish you can take the buttons so like this so you'll get it somewhat like this and let's keep this aside to dry and we have to glue this ones too as we did the the others so i'm going to glue them also and you can make it any pattern not necessary what i'm making and the leaves should not be as it should not be much far away it won't look good so yeah now we are done with it and we have to bring this and as we stick this one we have to stick it uh, over here so we have to take glue and stick it like this okay up uh, it's behind not in front so it's behind this and not in front so this we have to stick it in front but this we have to stick it this we stick stick stuck it in back side so it will be like this and the next one we are going to do is we have to make the net so you have to take the quilling paper or the paper you cut into strips so you can make it any color not necessary it should be green so i have taken green color and so this is how we have to stick it so we have to take this one and we have to measure like over here it's still here so we have to kind of fold it for you so then we have to take it and we have to cut it so we have cut it and over here we have to stick it like this so first we put glue over here and over here again and i stick it So it will take quite time to dry so you have to wait for it but not um, necessary that each and every step you have to wait for it so you can continue making so but the same way you have to make many lines like this so you can measure and it's still here so i'm gonna again fold it and i have to cut it like this and and i stick it over here so to put some glue and we 
here also. And it will come like this. And the next one we can, um, and if you want to uh, make it a little, and if this is the other way you can do it. So you can already put glue over here. So you can put, already you can put glue over here and here. Okay, not here now, but you can, if you, if you wish, you can do that also. So you have to stick it over here already and again you have to cut out from here itself. So you cut it out and again you have to put glue over here. And you have to stick it. And doing this you have to make the net. So when I'm doing that same and if it does not fit you can take out the next strip and you can continue with it so for me I think this is the best this way is the best so I'm going to do with this if you want to do the other way, you can do that also, there's no harm. I hope you're enjoying it. And after you are done with the vertical, you can do the, the other way. And if, it, if, if you notice that there is extra at the bottom, then you can cut it from over here like you can cut it over here too and stick it. And after you do it, after you finish, don't turn it off as it takes a little time to dry. So we are almost done with this.
um, after we join all of them so it will look like this and um, and I have uh, made it I have made some sleeping lines also on top of the standing lines and after, and um, if you make the sleeping lines on top of the standing lines also it's fine and if you do the opposite also it's fine and after you make it it will look like this and we are um, and so it looks quite good and after we are after we are after, after you are done with it then um, we will uh, we'll start making these wool wool um, wool strings so you can see we have we are going to make this so i have already made them and so um, we have to take this piece a piece of wool and um, we have to fold it like this and um, we need a quite short one not this long one so and after i make after i take this one so it, we have to fold it and um, as you can see over here i have put a double knot over here um, i have put a double knot over here and put the bead over here and again i have put the double knot to enclose the bead and the same way I've, i have put two beads so um, the same way i have done over here i put again a double knot and i put the bead in and again i put a double knot to enclose the bead so um, as if there is if if it's not equal then you can cut it and the extra part also you can cut it if there's any so after we are done with these three we have to stick them over here so we have to flip it over and we have to stick stick this wool over here like this so you have to take the glue and take the fabric cord and put it and stick it it would it will take quite time to stick so let it dry for some time and over here we uh, we and um, hope you all have some ribbons also we took we took in the beginning so these are four ribbons so one two three four so um, we only need three ribbons for now so you can keep the rest one and we can make it a little bit short according to this size so we can measure it to here and we can keep it as and we can keep cut it and this is the ribbon and after each um, after each wool string um, we are going to make it alternate so put a ribbon over here you can take any color ribbon and after we put the ribbon again we have to put the string as it is alternate so i again put some glue and put the wool string again and the next again we have to put the ribbon according to this size so it should it can be big or small but if it is this size it can be that also would be okay so not uh, the two two long ribbons would not look good and two short ribbons will also not look good so it should be of the medium size so we have to stick it alternate so i again put a ribbon over here and again i put a one last ribbon over here. i mean the wool string so um we have to take an, the other one the other wool string and paste it over here and so we have done pasting and then we have to again take the ribbon and this is the last ribbon we are going to stick so we have to cut it and again paste it over here putting fabricord so we are done with making this and then if you and if the other ribbon will have which is um, which is this ribbon so um, we are going to stick this on the top as we are going to hang it so um, these these are done now what we have to do is we have to take this ribbon and hang it like this so we are going to paste the ribbon like this so we are going to paste it and again we have to paste the other side also And until it's dried, we can't like take it off. So 
wait for it to dry or if it is dried you can take it off like this and it will come out something like this so and this is what we are going to stick okay it has fallen down but then it it has to dry so these all have so now the febby call is dried and you will get the wall hanging as it is so now you can you can paste it on the wall or anywhere you want so um so you could paste it on the wall like this or with tape or if there is any hanging hook you can ha you could hang it also and if you want to decorate more also you can stick these these um beads or um the small stones or anything you want you can stick and you can see so you can stick it and then you can hang it so if if there if there is um, no gum on it then you could put a little glue over here like this and it's almost done so and this is optional if you want to do it you can do if you don't then it's fine it's not that important so you can stick you can stick it like this and And our wall hanging is ready, so you can stick it on the wall like this, or um, or if you can make another one with, and you can make it with any shape of of the cardboard. So you can make it. You can if you have two, you could stick it like this. It would look, it will look very good. And and if you have one also, you can stick it like this as as I have sticking. So and. And please comment us and tell us which video do you want me to make next. And if you like any particular craft, you can tell me and comment me to make that. And please like our video and thanks for watching.